Hey everyone, welcome back to Cards in the Wall. Today we're going to be taking a look at indie card trading cards. Yes, that's right, it is the month of May, and you know at the end of the month of May is none other than the greatest race, the Indy 500. Also the Coke 600, but for now, we're going to focus on IndyCar. And as you saw at the beginning of the video here, we have Kyle Larson's entry, the HendrickCars.com special. The number 17 IndyCar here in the uh, Speedway uh, arrow setup here. Looking very nice. McLaren on the front here. Aero McLaren on the wheel. Oh, look at this here. Indy 500. There you go. Firehawk, Firestones. Look at that. And then um, mine down here is uh, number 453, serial numbered. So I wonder if Kyle Larson will take the lead of the race at the 453rd mile. We will see. Uh, but back to the cards. This is uh, Parkside Collectibles IndyCar retail hanger box here. Um, this is the... I think they announced it back in February, but they said that the, uh, the cards hit the market on March 1st. And uh, they have... Um, in a couple formats, this is the retail hanger box. They also have a hobby box, which I have and will open later in the month. But for today, we're going to take a look at two of these retail packs, uh, 25 cards apiece. Down the bottom here, it says, look for randomly inserted signatures, parallels, and more. So we'll see what we can get into today. Um, you know, I've seen old indie cards Indy car cards before. Um, if you watched my last week's video about when I went to the card show, you saw a couple Indy car cards, uh, little boxes and sets there. But I don't know if they've ever had a officially licensed, full blown Indy car trading card set like we do have with, you know, baseball or Don Ross Racing or something like that. So it's kind of cool. Um, we'll go ahead and get into it here. We'll set this one box off to the side. Look at this. Look at this box here first. Um, <clears throat> you know, I know that this this channel is centered more around, you know, NASCAR racing and the cards that are associated with that. But I mean, listen, it's the month of May. It is. There's the box. There it looks like it's reasonably protected. It's the month of May. The 8500 and the Coke 600 are Memorial Day weekend. You have to respect the legacy of the Indy 500. And honestly, you gotta root for all motorsports because if you think about it, if all motorsports in America are doing good, hopefully that will, you know, the rising tides raise all ships kind of thing. So if NASCAR is doing well, IndyCar can do well, Formula One can do well. I know IMSA is doing really well. So uh, yeah, I mean, I my most followed motorsport series in america is nascar obviously but i would say uh second to that would be imsa and then indycar so you got to respect and, and support all motorsports series when you can so without further ado let's look at the indycar series set here nice little cover card there indycar yeah cool all right so christian lundgaard there we go and let's take a look at the back of these cards Okay, so not too bad. We got some some stats there. I like that. It shows the hometown, birthday, height, weight. Okay, yeah. Uh, four lap qualifying speed. Now that's cool. I like that. Um, and it says where he finished in the 500 last year. So actually really cool. So, you know, not too bad cards. This is, you know, where the, the Indy 500 comes from here. 107th, he was in that one. Here's Scott Dixon, and this, there you go, August 12th, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Looks like the back on this one, there you are, showing the race win there. Very cool. Marcus Erickson, car, looking very nice. Clearly on a road course, not on an oval track there. Let's see what this one looks like on the back. Marcus Erickson, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, so there you go. All right, so pretty nice cards. They, you know, as far as feel is concerned, they feel all right. I mean, it's not a terribly thick card stock or anything like that, but, um, you know, they are nice 
Um, it doesn't, you know, it's a, it's a pretty standard card. If you've opened Don Russ Racing before, it's kind of along the same thickness there. Your standard, you know, was it a 25 or 30 point card? Uh, look at this one. So this is Parkside Collectibles IMS Road Course. What in the world have we got here? Okay. This is a parallel then, I'm assuming. Oh, this is for just the track. Yeah, okay. All right. That's kind of cool. Ryan Hunter Ray. Looks like he's crossing the yard of bricks there. Very nice. Let's see what we got. He's got 8,500 stats here too. Yes, position 11, starting position 19. So there you go. Took uh, Connor Daly's ride there. Okay, uh, Linus Lundquist. This looks like it's a, a foil parallel. Very nice. Uh, same with Simon Pagano. You know, I hope he... Uh, I hope he uh, ends up okay with, you know, the concussion from that wreck that he had. Uh, <laughs> uh, look at Simon. You gotta love him. Not even looking at the camera. It's got that sly, uh, sly look to him there. Paginot is an enthusiast of food, wine, vintage muscle cars, and Jack Russell Terrier named Norman. I believe it, Simon. Oh, so what do we got here? We got Worldwide Technology Raceway 217 on track passes for position. Okay, so this is this was an actual um, I guess race recap card, I guess if you want to consider it that. Just kind of leave it there. Very nice. Okay. So continuing on, we got uh, Felix Rosenquist car. Good old Ed Carpenter always in the 500 there. He's always fast, so if you're looking to to watch somebody in the race, uh, Indy Native there, go ahead and uh, root for Ed Carpenter. Got Graham Rahal. Another quick one, although he had his troubles getting into the race last year. Simon Paginode crossing the bricks there. Another Graham Rahal. Joseph Newgarden here. That is, is that Texas? I think that's Texas there. Judging off of the wall, does it say on the back? Uh, I don't think so, but very cool. Joseph Newgarden, there he is. The, uh, cheater, if you will. Um, <laughs> I don't really don't have an opinion on that. I know it was a big, a big thing, but, you know, if you, uh, if you think he did it, let me know in the comments. If you didn't think he'd do it, also let me know in the comments. <laughs> David Malukas there. Marcus Erickson. Okay, now this is interesting. We got some, uh. Palm trees in the background there. March 5th, Streets of St. Pete. So this is another one of those like race recap cards. Race winner, 100 laps, 181 miles, and it's got the race summary down there. So, you know, I really like that idea. I'd like to see that come to uh, Donruss Racing. You know, you have all these races every single year, and it'd be nice to have like a, a little recap. So there's uh, Alex Pillow. Race recap there of... Uh, Portland International. Very nice. I really like that idea. That's that's a cool addition to these cards. I mean, I'd like to, uh, like I said, I'd like to see that on the NASCAR side of things. Maybe they could get that rolling for us. Look at that, Scott Dixon. Look at that color scheme, huh? Just like uh, the Hendrick Car Special. But I digress. Uh, another Scotty McLaughlin. So, okay. So we've got a little pile of cards there. I don't know. What do you think? You know, one pack in here. Uh, it's different, you know, I, I think they're well designed, they have a nice, they have a nice look to them, like I said, the, the quality of the cards is what you would expect, um, you know, I'm not seeing any really damage or errors or anything like that, so, you know, props to Parkside Collectibles, uh, for that, uh, like I said, I really do like the, the fact that they have race recap cards, I really think that's something special, so... Again, I would like to see that in the NASCAR side. 107th Indy 500. I like how they give it uh, the little cover card there. Very nice. Hey, Catherine Legg. Uh, she had some troubles on pit road last year, I remember. And I don't know, is she going to be in this year's race? I, I honestly haven't looked, but uh, it's nice to see her. She was also in IMSA. I remember following her in that series as well. Kyle Kirkwood. He's always got a, uh, at least last year, had a really flashy bright paint schemes on a lot of his cards cards <laughs> car 
There's uh, Joseph Newgarden again. Tony Kanon, TK, the fan favorite. Look at him go. Very nice. Let's see. Do we have career stats here? Career racing record. Very nice. Races, 390 races. Running at finish, 313. So not a bad average. 17 wins. There you go. Look at that. Good old TK. All right, so here's our like foil parallel here. This is Barber Motorsports Park. Very nice. They got the, the art spider down there. So what do we got on this one? Let's see. Barber Motorsports Park. Yeah, Leeds, Alabama. There you go. Very cool. I like the... Again, I like the track cards. So you have your track cards. Graham Mary Hall again. You have your track cards. Oh, Tony Kanon. And then you have your race recap cards, which obviously took place at a specific track, but it also showcases what happened in the race and who the winner was. So I really like this take on a racing card, a uh, racing set. So I like that a lot. This is like a pit pass of Takuma Sato. There you go. It's like the little lanyard pass there. Fun fact, Sato was the national high school cycling champion and sensational Sato in the Mickey Spring Grand Prix episode of the Mickey and the Roadster Racers. Okay. Good for him. <laughs> we got uh, Scott Dixon here. It says at the bottom, Scott Dixon ties the record for the most consecutive IndyCar series race starts. Truly one of the greatest of all time in the IndyCar series. And honestly, he's accomplished a lot even compared to other series too. I mean, he I, could you consider him the Jimmy Johnson of their series? Uh, I think you probably can. Uh, another milestone achievement for the Iceman. Very nice. Elio Castroneves. Another great racer in the series there. Uh, I saw him in the Penske, the old Penske uh, DPIs at Road Atlanta a couple times, so that's pretty cool. Got to get a picture with him there as well, and an autograph. Uh, Will Power, sitting in the car at the Speedway there. Santino Ferrucci with the American flag passing on through, matching the color of his car there. Very nice. He finished third. Yeah, you know, for a while there, I really thought he could get it done last year, but we'll see about this year. Ryan Hunter Ray crossing the yard. Benjamin Peterson. Nice looking car. I like that. Yeah. Orange. There you go. Kyle Kirkwood. Long Beach there. Look at that. There you go. I love the race recap cards. I think that's probably my favorite part of this uh, release here. Jack Harvey, Marcus Erickson, looking like uh, looking like he's wanting to spend a day at the beach there. There's Elio again. Good to see him. Looking focused. Joseph Newgarden, Texas. There you go. April 2nd. <laughs> Jumping off the car with the old, uh, the old cowboy hat on there. Okay. What do we got here? Which one is this? Can you see it? I don't know. What's, what, what track is this? Let's find out. Iconic Images, the Worldwide Technology Raceway. Okay, very cool. You know what? I just noticed there. Look, they give the uh, photographer credit. Joe Skibinski. Very nice. I like that. You know, way to go, Parkside. I think this is actually a really nice set. Really like the uh, the innovation that you're bringing there. You know, having the race recap cards, the car cards, the driver cards, the track cards. Really, really nice. Well done, I'd say. Very nice set. Well, that was a good rip. Um, let me know what you thought about the, the set. If you've ever opened one of these yourself, uh, the IndyCar cards, again, uh, brought to you and printed by Parkside Collectibles. Uh, let me know what you thought. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, tune in, subscribe uh, for later in the month. We're going to take a look at some older IndyCar cards. And then uh, towards the end of the month, we're going to take a look at the hobby box of this set. Uh, maybe we can pull some autographs. Who knows? Like and subscribe. Follow the channel and get ready for the month of May. Thanks. See you in the next one.